Uh, hello everyone, this is for the uh, CIS 199 class. Um, I'm going to just give you guys a little overview of the course and the tools to um, make yourself successful in the course. Um, so right here I'm starting out showing you the syllabus and I'll just kind of briefly go over that. Um, I am an adjunct instructor so I'm not available typically during the work day because I do um, teach full time at Wallace State. Uh, but I do have some contact information for you here, so just, just get that started out. So I am Greg Knight. Um, I have my email address listed here, and I have um, office hours listed that you can schedule via uh, Calendly link. So if you were to click on this link here, just going to open up a uh, screen for you if you've ever used Calendly before. Basically, you have dates available here you can pick. Um, and when you pick a day, you can pick a time slot, and then you can go in and you can fill out the information, and I'll be notified about that. And <clears throat> give me uh, an email address and a phone number. And anything, any information you want to share uh, about why we need to talk, and then we'll get together and I'll help you with whatever we need. So, but I am going to do that by um, appointment here. Um, I do have class um, late on uh, Tuesday night at Wallace on campus, so I'll be that I'll only be available at, um, for one time slot that night, and then on Friday I've got a couple of uh, time slots available as well. Um, so you have that here available to you. Um, so it'd be like that for the whole semester. All right. So moving on, otherwise, all right, so this is um, CIS-199 Network Communications. It's an online class that will be taught asynchronously, meaning I don't have any planned online course meetings, but I will be making videos like this along the way. Um, by the end of this course, you're going to be able to do these things listed here. I'd like you to get familiar with these. Um, we're going to learn IP addressing. We're going to learn some um, basics of Cisco um, Cisco devices. We're going to explain um, some basics to routing and then some troubleshooting of home network equipment and the other things listed here. You will need uh, Test Out Network Pro. This is available at the College Bookstore. Uh, you can buy it through their website. Go to the, go, go to the actual store and you, will, you can buy it using this information here. I have looked it up on the bookstore site and it is listed there correctly. All right, so the content for this course is going to be found on testout.com. So any communications that we need to have about the class, if you would use Calhoun email for that. Um, the only um, outlier to that would be, you know, Calendly uh, to set up a appointment for us to speak on the phone. All right, the grading for this class, all right, so 60% of this grade for this class is, is going to come from the exams and labs you're going to do in test out. Um, I'm going to go over test out um, briefly with you here uh, before this video is over. Um, also, there are um, there is a certification exam that you're purchasing uh, while, when you purchase test out, so you have the, the uh, chance at the end of the class to take the test out network pro certification exam so I'm I put built that into the schedule and I'm requiring you to take the um, certification practice exam um, I mean I'm gonna grade you on that but you're but you can take the practice exam as many times as you would like and I'll just use the, the highest grade that you make um, for the purposes of grading but uh, it would be difficult to be successful on the actual certification exam if you don't take the practice exam. Um, so 20% so of the grade will be based on those two exams. And then there'll be 20% of the grade that'll be based on a comprehensive final exam that you'll take in Blackboard using um, Otterlock. Grade scale here, nothing uh, groundbreaking here. You've seen that in other classes before. I do have a course outline. I'll go over briefly in a moment. <clears throat> this is an online course, so uh, in-person attendance isn't required. 
um, even though you will need to spend a fair amount of time doing the coursework to uh, stay on uh, schedule. <clears throat> um, and I will not accept uh, work late unless there is a, you know, documented reason. Best thing to do is just not get in that situation. Try to stay ahead if you can. All right, and then final exam, uh, information about that listed here. Um, all right, so that is your syllabus. I'm going to go over your schedule now. All right, so here you see the schedule. I have listed the assignment for the week and due dates. I want you to notice a few um, due date uh, situations here. Before I get into that, right away I need you to know that you need to do the attendance verification, which is your Blackboard orientation. So you need to get that completed and submitted on Blackboard. I'll show you where that happens here. Let me go ahead and just get you ready. Well, I'll go over the Blackboard stuff here. Let's see here. Let me bring it over to the other to your screen. All right, so I was going to, yeah, so underneath Blackboard, which laid out the way most of your classes should be, under course content, you will see the um, information here about the uh, student orientation certificate. You can submit your orientation certificate right here. You just click here, browse for that file, and attach it. Um, this is due by the 21st. Um, this is so I can mark you in attendance with um, class. Uh, since it's an online class, that's the only way I can verify your attendance is for you to complete that. <clears throat> Otherwise, you'll be doing the work here in test out. I'll show you about that here in a moment, but you're going to be doing all exams and labs for each one of the 14 um, sections. And once we get through the month, as you can see, uh, the months, this semester as you get down to, I want you to notice between October 23rd and November the 6th, I've skipped a little time right there. Um, you basically have a, a week with no assignments to do. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to use that if you can to get caught up. Plus, if you notice, it actually misses the Halloween uh, time frame. I did that for just in case you guys have things going on which makes it uh, keeps you busy during the Halloween time. Uh, you just got a little less to worry about, but you could also use it to get ahead, finish up, because once you, we round out um, section 14 on the 13th, um, you would get into the practice exams. I actually have two listed here. I've got the test out network pro practice exam. That one is mandatory. It's required for your grade. <clears throat> Um, there is also, though, the CompTIA Network Plus practice exam. This one would, is preparing you if you do choose it, um, in the near future to take the Network Plus exam. This one is a practice exam for that, kind of get you an idea how that works. And this is bonus points. I want you to notice that is 100 bonus points that can be applied toward um, this 20% grade here of um, the pro practice exam and the pro certification exam, so keep that in mind. And then closing things out with the final exam, which is another 20% of the grade. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's get into, I want to show you how Network Pro looks um, in test out, all right? So let me bring that up for you. <sighs> I'm logging in test out and all that is a different matter altogether. Matter of fact, I will, um, I'll show you that here in a second, but once you first get into test out, this is, you have a uh, course outline, which matches the outline I have in the uh, syllabus. I want you to notice, okay, <clears throat> there's lots of items in, in my, these are check marks of things that I've actually done myself, but I want you to, um, you'll have these check marks next to items as you complete them. But you're required to complete, as per the schedule, right, all exams and labs. That's where these um, points come from here. But there are other things in the chapters that you might 
find valuable to do the but uh, like right here you got a network pro introduction right you scroll through you've got a simulator and information on how to use the simulator and then right here we've got an actual lab right so how does that uh, look in the schedule here <clears throat> the labs have this um, picture of a mouse right so the things that are or the items the assignments that require for points are the labs and then the exams so go to chapter two here I want to show you an exam so you see the exam has this pencil and this little pad so anything that is a lab you know, the mouse or anything that is uh, an exam they're called practice questions here those are the items you're going to be graded on anything with a mouse anything with this pencil those are the items that you do for a grade everything else you may still find important to do so you you can complete those other items but you're only getting points for the labs and the exams or the practice questions right so hopefully that that's that helps once you get complete with the section um, you don't have to do anything with the information I will go and check that um, within the day or two after you complete it and I will enter the grades for you in blackboard so you can see your points adding up I believe that's uh, good enough for an intro um, to this class I will I will show you here in blackboard let me bring that up again all right so you do have your syllabus and your outline out here available information about um, let's view this like the student information about me the Calendly link is here and my contact info just like it is in the syllabus under course content here I've got the information about the submitting the certificate and I got a link to the to test out here and I've also got a link back to the course outline so the course outline you can get to in a couple different places it's the same location um, or the same information here you can click this and it'll open up a uh, test out for you I want to show you what that looks like so let me log out of it all right so when you click on this link right here is going to take you to test out and you're just going to, you, you're going to sign up initially you can go through the sign up process I am going to send you a uh, um, invitation via the email that's listed as your primary email so uh, if for some reason you don't get that email you need to let me know and then once you log in um, it'll the course that my course will be available to you because I've invited you to it you will need to go to the, um, the bookstore and buy the um, code for the class and I, I showed the um, let's see here earlier when I had the syllabus listed the syllabus actually shows the information for the the code that you need to buy um, that code will get you access to all the material but the invitation I send you you can still go ahead and join the class uh, pending buying the code um, if we run into any situation where the codes are are delayed or anything like that through the bookstore let me know and I'll do what I can to get you um, temporary access until the code comes in but I will need you to reach out to me and let me know that I believe that it's all I've got let's see I'm going to um, end this here let me find the
All right, guys, thanks for paying attention here. I'm going to end the video here now and uh, reach out to me if you need anything. All right, thanks. Bye.